Hello everyone, welcome to our channel and this is going to be a short tutorial on lobster review and I will be reviewing how lobster has been for me so far because I have been using lobster for a while now and I mostly use it for farming crypto or basically farming aqua from Aquarius liquidity layer which is on Stellar. So let's see what lobster has to offer to us. So on lobster homepage you will be able to see different receive and send and buy and swap options there used to be a chart option also which was way better than the current charts when you click on a particular asset you will be able to see different charts but earlier these charts were better and little larger so it was easier to understand the situation which was going on in the market but currently they have changed it and also there are some bugs in lobster but we will talk about it later on. First, let's talk about the positives of Lobster. The biggest positive of using Lobster app is that the team behind this particular application is actually working day and night to give us the better experience. And there are people out there who actually hears your feedback and put into this particular application and make changes to it. So we get better services. And you can just simply contact them on Discord. Basically, when you go on the Discord of Stellar Global or the Aqua, you will be able to find people who are associated with Lobster. So they will be able to help you out if in case you have any feedback. But there are some good features like the Wallet Connect. When you click on Wallet Connect, you will be able to find that you can just simply scan any particular website out there and interact with them in a different manner, like the Web3 platforms and you can also interact with the voting and all sort of things on Stellar. So this is going to be even better in the future. You can also add contacts over here and when you go on the transactions, you will be able to see different transactions that are happening and all the pending transactions also. They also added this particular feature, which is to convert all the spam cryptos over here to Aqua in just one go. It was not there earlier, but they did it for the ease of their users. That's why the Lobster team is really good at listening to the users and we can just simply convert all these trash coins into aqua quite fast with just one click just click over here and after that wait for it to load then select up to 20 recent trash coins and continue with it and you will be able to convert them into aqua and you can also trade different tokens by just going on to the trade option and in case if you want to participate in the SDEX rewards of Aquarius just simply use this particular option of trade and click on this option of trade custom pair and after that select your pairs over here and when you click on this option of order book you will be able to see different orders that are already there you can also place your order over here in order to earn the rewards on Aquarius so this is a good way to participate in Aquarius rewards and let's get back and buying crypto is also easy on lobster there is also 100% fee back in case if you are holding around 500k aqua or 5 million ice ice is basically when you convert your aqua or lock your aqua you will be getting uh, ice for it it is basically in the multipliers in case if you are locking around 1000 aqua then you will be getting around 8000 of the ice which is around eight times so this is how it will work. You also get the down vote and the governance votes for it. So it is quite good and you get 100% feedback, which is absolutely good in order to incentivize its users. And now let's come to the bug part. There are apparently many bugs that comes around, but also the team works for it to go away. And all you have to do is just contact the lobster team or the people associated with lobster on discord and they will be able to help you out in Many of the cases you are not able to vote on Aquarius using this particular application which is Lobster then you can just simply contact the team on Discord and sometimes the app is also down and in that case you just have to wait for it to get up again or start running again and you have nothing else to do other than just waiting and there are some glitches once in a while and they also go with the time but there is no such major uh, turn offs in Lobster as of now and it is working quite great at least in my case. It's just that most of the time I face the problem with the voting and that problem is also solved by the Lobster team whenever I reach out to them. And this application is also in the beginning phase so they will be bringing more features to 
lobster as the time passes by so we can just hang around and stay around the lobster to wait for these features and enjoy them in the future so this was the review of lobster i hope you enjoyed it make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed it and also subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos in case if you want to know anything else just simply comment down below